Hello, and welcome to race number two of season two of the Lay's NASCAR Cup Series. We are here at Richmond Raceway, as we have a full field here set to go, ready to race. Take a look at the field here. Get ready for a 10 lap race here at Richmond Raceway. Let's take a look at some of your headlines for today's race. We have Dale Jr. who is your pace car driver and his Xfinity Homans Camaro. And starting on the pole is Martin Truex Jr. And to his outside we have Chase Elliott who will be starting in the second position. Starting third is last week's winner, Joey Logano. Look for him to be strong again today. Another headline is Daniel Hemrick will be making his cup debut today in the number eight. And some notable drivers that will be starting in the back. So we have Brad Kozlowski who will be starting towards the back of the field due to inspection problems, along with Kyle Busch who also had problems during inspection as well. look at that field here the engines are fired and the cars are starting to roll off here and let's take a look at your starting lineup for today's race first off we have Dale Jr. driving the pace car and in row one we have Martin Truex Jr. and Chase Elliott row two Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin in row three we have Kyle Larson and Kurt Busch in row four we have Eric Jones and Jamie McMurray in row five, we have William Byron and Kevin Harvick. In row six, we have Alex Bowman and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. In row seven, we have Ryan Blaney and Ryan Newman. In row eight, we have David Reagan and Clint Boyer. Row nine, we have Jimmy Johnson and Bubba Wallace. Row ten, we have Chris Buescher and Paul Menard. Row 11 is Trevor Bain and Daniel Hemrick. Row 12, Austin Dillon and Michael McDowell. Row 13, Eric Almarola and Daniel Suarez. Row 14 is Brad Kozlowski and on his inside, Matt Benedetto. Row 15 is Casey Kane and Ross Chastain. Row 16, Ty Dillon and Kyle Busch. Row 17 is AJ Allmendinger and Greg Galding. Row 18 is 72 of Cole Witt and Landon Castle. And then row 19, rounding out the field, is Harrison Rhodes. Take a look here. We have some of our sponsors for today's race, as you can see along the back stretch here. So if you would like to, there's a link in the description to all of sponsors for today's race, so feel free to check those out. And if you'd like to sponsor it, check it out. I've got a video. I'll try to put a link in the description. Um, do it yourself and be in some of the future races. So thanks to all of them. This pace car pulls off here. We get ready to go green. Green flags in the air. Martin Schurz Jr. dives down the lead here. From Chase Elliott. Let's see, we'll clear Chase Elliott off the turn two. We'll start pulling away from the rest of the field to start laps two of ten. Martin Truex now has a sizable lead over second place Chase Elliott, and Chase Elliott is breaking away from the rest of the field a little bit as well. So as the field battles back, we'll start with lap three of ten. A battle between Logano and Hamlin there. That's Chase Elliott is looking to hunt down Martin Truex Jr. Looks like he is gaining a little bit as we start lap 4 of 10. He's gaining, he's gaining, getting closer here. Right to his bumper, he bumps him. He gets to the inside, drives them side by side, and turns 3 and 4. Chase Elliott's got a narrow lead on lap 5, and they're wrecking in the back here. Caution's out here on lap number 5. As we have four cars all smashed up 
here. Tough day for all these guys as there will be a red flag as we get a cleanup underway. As you can see here, it looks like Stenhouse gets up loose kind of into the one of McMurray there. Just messes him up and then just chaos behind him as cars try to avoid and everything else. Rakazowski will be out, Alex Bowman, David Reagan having a good run today, and Jamie McMurray having a good run as well. They will be all be out of the race. So we'll take a look at the field here, still waiting. Cars are all back in the garage now, out of the race. These people are really mad, especially McMurray at Stenhouse there for causing that wreck as he will continue on with a little damage. And as the field will get back going, we'll have a restart here on lap 8 of 10. And green flag's back in the air. Chase Elliott leads him down here. Chase Elliott's getting a good run here. There's Martin Truex Jr. for turn 2. Let's see the rest of the field come through. Chase Elliott's starting to pull away. Truex Jr.'s looking. Trying to chase him down here in second place. A little battle here. Two spots behind him. You see the field come down the back stretch here. White flag in the air. Chase Elliott has a fairly big lead over Martin Truex Jr. Down the back stretch for the last time. Off the turn number four. Chase Elliott will take the checkered flag here at Richmond. Martin Truex Jr. will finish second. Joy Logano in third. Once again, Chase Elliott wins it here at Richmond Raceway. Congrats to Chase Elliott. So we'll burn it down here at Richmond. We'll grab the checkered flag here. And we'll head off to Victory Lane. So congrats once again to Chase Elliott on winning today's race at Richmond Raceway and the whole number nine Napa team, along with Lightning McQueen, Chase Elliott TV for winning today's race. Second, we had Martin Truex Jr., Ryan Katz, 28. Third was B-Man NASCAR and Joey Logano. Fourth was Denny Hamlin with Tim Horton's Cup Series. Running out your top five was the Napa Cup Series with Kyle Larson. So that's uh, it for today's race here, pretty much, as you look through the uh, rest of the finishing order here. Look for your name next to... Um, Driver, granted, I know people have changed their names, so you're gonna have to update me, send me a comment or something so I can try to update them. But I, I'd really prefer if you not, so I may not be able to change your name. So I'll do my best though. But that's uh, pretty much it here. So, granted, I would like to get uh, some more races done here soon, but. School and stuff is starting to get more and more intensive, more homework and stuff, so may not have as much time to do it along with work, and then uh, it does take a while for me to build these tracks, and I only have a few of them that are actually built, so that's the main thing that's going to take me a while, especially I want to try to make Daytona, that's going to take quite a while, so it may be a while before we see another stop motion race, but uh, Stay tuned for more updates. Um, probably give updates out on Twitter more often than uh, say maybe on YouTube. But um, follow me on Twitter. It's at CoreyClat88. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that here. Um, I'd say this is a fairly good race. Um, good battle there, and at the end. The battle between Chase Elliott and Martin Truex Jr. And yeah, kind of got a little bit of a feud. I think uh, a lot of drivers are going to be mad at uh, Stenhouse, or especially I'd say Dave McMurray, because he got right into him. Just kind of overdrove the corner and whatever. But uh, yeah, so it'll be interesting. But stay tuned. I'm still making pit boxes. I've kind of got into that again because I was focusing on this for a while. But uh, just keep up with that to see some of the rest of your fuel coming through. He had Landon Castle in 33rd place. 
And then we had some of the cars that got wrecked. Jimmy McMurray ended up in 34th. David Reagan, 35th. Alex Bowman in 36th. And Greg Kostowski in 37th. So very few points for all these guys. Let's take a look at your point standings through the two races. You can pause it and look at where your driver finished. Or not finished, but I ended up in the point standings after these two races. But uh, it'll be interesting. Still got a quite a bit of races and more of the season to go. Once again, congrats to Chase Elliott here on winning today's race at Richmond Raceway. And so that's pretty much... Uh, End of the day's race, had some great battles here, good racing, but in the end it was Chase Elliott. We'll see you next time, hopefully, for the Atona 500. Corey Klatt, signing off.